Good morning. Um, this is the second day of uh, Learning 2.0. I'm trying to whisper because I'm in a library. Um, yesterday was the first go of Learning 2.0, and the themes seem to be uh, failure-based learning. Um, the, I particularly liked uh, John Burns' um, sharing of his own uh, failures and uh, his previous uh, work environment. Um, that's something very brave to do, to uh, share that that type of failure with a big group like that. Um, it's something that, um, if we think about uh, design thinking, that's failure-based learning is a very important part of that process. Um, one of the things I've been striving to do is have uh, failure-based learning sort of showcase in, in my life. Uh, I think the challenge is could you put, could you design a resume that's 100% uh, failures? But of course you need to show the learning behind it. Um, I do that with my LinkedIn profile, but I haven't had the guts to actually show that in a CV. Um, I guess I could try that. I mean, this year I'm looking for a new job and um, I'm, I could just throw that on the resume, just put all my failures and the lear lessons learned. And I would say that actually most of the stuff that's on my resume has a failure behind it. So why not put that, put the failure in there and show the, the, lear the, le the lessons learned? So that might be a, a goal that I could try to do um, this week or in the, in the next or this year. Um, the other thing we had is we had a cohort with uh, uh, like-minded uh, leaders. So like in my group, we're uh, leaders, tech leaders for whole school, so a lot of IT directors. We had some library folk in there. Um, and in that group, one of their objecti objectives is to come up with a goal. And one of the things I found is this is, I haven't been the, to the last two Learning 2.0s. So I wasn't in Bangkok and I wasn't in Singapore, but I've been all t to all the ones in uh, China. So this is my first uh, overseas uh, Learning 2.0. And me not being here for two Learning 2.0s, I feel like uh, I'm kind of like a stranger, even though I do a lot of tweeting. I'm, um, I'm visible on Twitter, but when I come into a real environment, it's, uh, I feel like I'm a, a stranger. I don't know anyone. Uh, there are some people I do know, but I think my goal this trip is just to re-socialize and, and get to know people. Um, the other challenge, and this is a challenge that working in Nanjing is um, if I introduce myself, no one knows where Nanjing is, and that's always been a challenge. How do we, as a school, how do we raise the profile of Nanjing International School? Because I would say that when I was in Yokohama, I, I didn't have to explain where Yokohama was or where that school was because everyone knew what it was. So um, I could get into talking about the kind of things that we do at the school, not where we are. And at Nanjing, it's first describing where we are, and then we can talk about what we're doing. But what we're doing is just as good as any other school uh, around the world. Uh, I would argue better, but then, of course, I'm biased on that. Um, uh, I would say, if you want to know what Nanjing International School is, it's a design thinking school. We have a design center, but we're also an inclusive school. But if we look at inclusive schools, inclusive schools have to sort of work outside the framework of a normal learning that happens with other uh, environments. That's because we have to look at creative ways to make learning successful for all students. And this is where design thinking comes in. That's where project-based learning comes in. Um, so these are the these are the really exciting things that are happening at, at Nanjing International School. And they've been we've been doing it for probably five years. Uh, so we've been. This is something that we have a lot of experience with. So if you want to see uh, really neat things, come visit us. So that's all I have for now. Um, I'll try to make another reflection later on today, share what we've um, seen this today. Of course, I've put lots of posts on the Learning2 hashtag, um, and I'll try to stick as many videos so everyone can see uh, what, it, what it sounds and hears like, sounds and see, see like, you know, with 30 seconds 
video clips. That's it for now. Uh, I'll see you later.